Glory, 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 glory. Can we give God a shout for free in this night? Are you ready tonight? We thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Can we appreciate our music minister? Um, set things. I know angels of God are here because at some point there were some deaths that were touched and I want us to uh, be sensitive I want us to be sensitive now before I begin I want you to help me celebrate your pastor and his beautiful wife I call him prophet I call him prophet he has a very generous he's a very generous man he has a very broad heart and I want to appreciate you especially for who you are to the body of Christ and um, what you have been doing um, for the body of Christ. Not just for this church, uh, for the body of Christ. He taught me, I learned a lot from him. Just like the way he said that when he's in relationship with people, he learns from them. I learned a lot of it. When, I, when I'm in discussion with him, and then I was just sharing with him, you know, fasting like this. Anytime you increase your fast, you realize that he has gone double. <laughs> so he's a prophet. We honor you and your beautiful wife. Can we please put our hands together <laughs> to celebrate him? And please, can you join me to celebrate my friends, my brother, and my sister, Apostle? Thank God I'm coming up before you. Glory to God. <laughs> can we lift up our hands and just pray in the Holy Spirit? If you're expectant, can you just minister to the Lord in the Spirit? I know we just did, but let's just do it. Father, we bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you. Can you raise your voice? Can you take it higher? Kabla de koshata barade koshike preda halaga tega prade koshita liata. Mekele baba rada koshete liata gata barade. Mende kopra de kosafra de keliata. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, let's have a seat. The book of John, chapter 7, verse 37 to 39. You know, um, what God spoke to me is in many parts. I will try and um, connect all of them. And I'm trusting God to really, you know, reveal one or two things to every one of us. Um, there is a group of people that came here today. You know you are very weak spiritually. I want to congratulate you because you have come to the waters. It has been a drinking meeting, but you drink more tonight. And that drink will make you become so energetic to be able to withstand all the forces in this world. If you believe that, can you say Amen. amen. I have here one special, I mean, it's been read, but there is one version that caught my attention. On the last day of the festival, the great day, when the latter days of this conference, and Jesus stood there and cried out, let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, let the one who believes in me drink. And let the one who believes in me drink. And as, as the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living um, water. Praise God. And now, um, you've heard some people refer to the Ezekiel chapter 47, where you see water flowing from temple, where the temple of the Lord and is flowing to the Dead Sea. And if you read the old chapter, it talks about the blessings. Uh, that came up as a result of that flow that impacts the glorious changes that you see. The salty water becoming fresh 
and then you see the swarms of all kinds of creatures you know living in large numbers large numbers of fish and you see transformation trees on the banks of the of the rivers and um, solutions and impacts that came up as a result of the flowing of that river and i believe i trust god that this conference is meant for us to swim um, in the flow of the spirit and then we will be able to stand and connect the world as a channel to the source of the river. If you believe that, can you say amen? amen. Glory to God. Amen. I say glory to God. Amen. And so I have this message in two parts. I will focus on what happened behind the scene tonight. And then tomorrow, we are going to look at how to actually activate and demonstrate and release uh, these rivers, unlocking it in our spirit. And now, look at, there's a word that is very important there. It said, if you are thirsty, drink. If you are thirsty, come to me. Thank God, according to the scripture, we have come to, it said, come unto me, all you that labored and heavily loaded, that's how I like to put it. And it says, I will give you rest. Then it goes ahead, it says, learn of me and take my yoke, I'm humble, I know, and so on, and so then you have rest for your souls. Now, most of the time in church, what we seek is rest for our souls. We already have rest in our spirit. All right? Rest for our souls. Now, it says, come to me. And now, what this means is that we have come to Christ. We are already established as a city set on the hill, and I'm going there, because there are two parts to it. There is, there are works that go on behind the scene, that qualify you to unleash the rivers or unlock the rivers. Um, if you don't drink, you don't have the water. If you don't drink, if you don't eat, it's not only drinking. And I think I heard, I listened to Pastor, the first service, very powerful. He was talking about being, if you see, they said an angry man is an angry man. Um, but I want you to know that um, a hungry man is a man full of expectation. Um, there's a man that can easily be satisfied. So I want to show you some key things before I move into the depth of what I really want to. So if you are thirsty, the scripture says drink. If you are hungry, the Bible says feast. And now you have come to um, a feast. And since Monday, we have been drinking, we have been um, eating, all right? And then uh, there's room for more. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, we'll never be tired of drinking. It's not only in this conference you drink. Some of us have been permanently connected. Praise God. We are not coming with straw. We are not coming with bowl. We are not coming with buckets. We have connected, not us, we have connected the pipe permanently. And there is no way you can exhaust God. When every one of us take abundance, it still remains God of our abundance. Don't forget, they have been drinking from him since the foundation of the world. Glory to God. And that's why there's no room for, there's no need for competition. No, you see, whatever God is doing in the life of someone, um, you just need to have an idea of how it runs behind the scene, and then it will not be difficult for you uh, to manifest it. Now, I want us to know that rivers of living waters has nothing to do about us. We're already blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Somebody say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I like it when people talk back to me. Say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And so we, are, we have much more than enough. That's why in John 4, he said, those who believe in me, this well is in them. It will spring, is a spring that will always well up unto eternal life. Most of the times, when it looks like we are stranded, we just look on the outside, we are not looking inward. Do you understand? We are not looking inward. You see, well is symbolic of salvation. It's symbolic of every other thing. The Bible says, with joy you draw from well of salvation. Glory to God. Whatever you need at all in this life, God has put on your inside. Look at your neighbor, say, it's in you. Say, God is in you. Say, the well is in you. 
Say the grace is in you. Say the wealth is in you. You see, what God wants us to learn is to know how to relate with him behind the scene and know how to explore that which he has put in us and draw them and just for ourselves and also for others and manifest them. You know, I sense that some of us, we have, we have experienced God, we have uh, ministered to people, and it's not just about ministry. I mean, the wisdom of God functions in every sphere of life. Business, career, everywhere. You know, and at, certain, at some point, the whole thing started reducing. I see the activations of the giftings and the flow of God in your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's a restoration, resuscitation, rejuvenation. If you believe me, can you say it better? Amen. Amen. Glory, 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 glory. You know, I sense that towards the end of administration, I sense the spirit of joy in the house. Some of you say, I got joy of the Holy Ghost. Aha. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Look at your neighbor and smile. It, it looks like we have been eating a lot and we have been very serious. I know you want to take everything, but calm down. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Say, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Say, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. Now, let me quickly show you some scriptures that are very important. And um, um, let me see how it will go. When we are thirsty and we are hungry, there is what God fills us with. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1. Let me quickly show you this. We, in the New Testament, we have certain understanding. You know, Revelation in the New Testament is the explanation and exploration of the stories of the Old Testament. I want you to see something. Give us that scripture, please. Second Corinthians, I believe, chapter 10. It says, Now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in the presence am um, based among you. But being upset, go to the next verse. The next verse. No, first Corinthians. I think it's first sorry. First Corinthians. Moreover, brethren, I will not moreover, brethren, I will I will not that ye should be ignorant. Do you have NKJV? Can you? You know I'm not prophet, so Moreover, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud, all passed through the sea. I want you to take note of the cloud and the sea. All were under the cloud. You remember the cloud of fire, the uh, pillar of fire, and then the cloud in the day, symbolizing the Holy Spirit. I say all passed through the sea. All passed through the sea. Now, for one purpose. So that means they came into an arena where God could relate with them. That was symbolic. Now, I want you to see something now. Verse 2. Look at verse 2. He said, all were baptized into Moses in the cloud. And all of them were baptized into Moses in the cloud. And also in the sea. And you know we have two kinds of baptism. We have the baptism of the spirit. And then we have the water baptism. Now go to the next verse. But I want you to see for one purpose. All. As they came in. As we got into Christ. We have been invited for a feast. Look at it. All at the same spiritual food. All of them. All of them. They ate the same. Now for them to have eaten the same spiritual food. They will have been hungry for spiritual food. All have the same spiritual food. Look at the next verse. Look at the next verse. And all drank the same spiritual drink. Now, first note this. There is spiritual food and a spiritual drink. Now, the life we live prioritize eating spiritual food and drinking spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. Praise God. Bible says, and that rock was Christ. And now, before I move too far, there's something I want to quickly show you that is very important because I'm going to be explaining this so that we'll have a better understanding of what, you know, in the scripture, in the scripture, there are two things that 
um, primarily that you can um, interpret mountains to be. The Bible says that if you have faith like that small state, you say to this mountain, be that removed. So that means mountain can uh, be symbolic of something that is a problem in the life of someone or a hindrance. Then there's a second dimension. I want you to just follow me. That I found out that is very common, much more than problem in the Bible. That mountain also symbolizes a platform that God gives people to be able to fellowship and commune with him. If you check it very well, right from Abraham's time, he said, take up your son and then go to a mountain that I will show you. There he presented his son. No wonder Paul was saying that, you know, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, present your body as a living. Anybody can be brethren. Anybody, brethren. Praise God. Anybody can be a brother, a child of God, but it's not everybody that, is, that can present or... Uh, how to explain it? it? Because I didn't plan for it, but I want you to get it. Presentations are done by priests. And where priests in the Old Testament do presentations, children don't lock her around that place. But children stays far away. They go into the holies of holies. So when Paul says that present yourself as living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, for this is your reasonable worship. What is demanding is that start living your priestly life, your priestly grace. And don't forget he has made us kings and priests unto him. I remember when I was coming in, you know, I was just meditating, and the Holy Spirit says that, you remember scriptures that says that you shall stand before kings and not before me men. He said, tell them tonight that they are kings. Amen. Because you are, you are standing before them. Glory to God. Amen. Somebody say, I'm a, I'm a king. That's very prophetic. Say it again. Say, I'm a king. I'm a king. Now, so, mountain is symbolic if you check psalm 15 i want you to follow me psalm 15 psalm 15 this describes i mean it, there are so many scriptures in the whole testament that defines our new creation realities one of the best places i like to learn it is in the book of job give us psalm 15 please psalm 15 we're going to see psalm 15 a psalm of david and he says who may abide in your tabernacle who may dwell in your Holy hill, praise God. We are holy hill dwellers, praise God. You see, who, who may dwell in your holy hill? Now, see the description. It's perfectly fit into who we are. Check it. Next verse. He says, He who walks uprightly. Somebody say, I walked uprightly. Look at it. He says, And speaks the truth in his heart. Look at it. Next verse. He speaks the truth in his heart. He said, He who does not backbite with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor does take it take up, nor does he take up a reproach against his friends. Next verse. Verse, verse 4. He said, He whose high is a white person is despised, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He who swears, you know, to his own horse and does not change. Next verse. One of us. He who does not put out the money at injury nor does it take a bribe against i have a version that said who does not take interest from the poor when they loan the poor praise god but according to this price you don't have to loan the poor praise god you can pass the rich amen but according to the scripture it describes our new creation lifestyle in chapter 24 it said the earth is the lord and its fullness thereof the world and those who Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody, you have a very strong scar. It's a strong reproach from your past. That memory is erased tonight. Amen. I don't know who the person is, but the Holy Spirit brought that hope. That memory is reproached. Psalm 24. That memory is erased. Glory, 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 glory. Psalm 24. Somebody say, I got you of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Say it loud. I say, I got you of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Can you scream glory? Yes. The earth is the Lord's and all his fullness, the world and those who 
Twelve, well, including the devil. Praise God. Next verse. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Yes, quickly because of time. And he says, Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? Can you see that? Clean hands and a pure heart who has not. You know, he says, Who may stand? There is a standing in a holy place. He has, he that has clean hands and a pure heart. Now, I can't explain all that, but I just want you to see something. Now, let me tell you something. That one thing symbolizes a secret place. A secret place where the righteous are made. A secret place where the righteous, the righteous is fed. A secret place of a counter. A secret place of refreshing. A secret place of transformation, of empowerment. A secret place where we feast. A secret place where we become immature in the things of the spirit. Now, don't forget, Jesus demonstrated this himself in Mark chapter 3, verse 13. The Bible says, He called those who he wanted unto himself. And the Bible says that they might be with him first. And the scripture says that he might empower them and then to send them out to cast out devils. So, I want you to see that pattern now. So, there is a path where we are locked up with God to drink and to feast. Then we grow in the things of God. Now, I want you to, the priority in the heart of God is for us to become. The ultimate purpose in the heart of God is that the nation should be blessed. But the priority is that we come in to become. It says, I, I, my, I know my sheep, my sheep knows me, they, they follow me. The scripture says that when you come in, you come in again. There's always in in the in of God. Glory to God. So you continue to explore all the different dimensions of God on the earth. Let me give you an example of someone. You know, we have all heard about Elijah calling fire. We have all heard about Elijah parting Jordan and doing all kinds of exploits. The first time Elijah was introduced in the scripture, according to 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1, the Bible says, Elijah, a Tishbite. Is that not what the Bible says? Can you give us that scripture? It says, Elijah, the Tishbite. Now, now you remember your village. Can you put your name and put your village there? Tope. I don't want you to know my village. Please go. <laughs> Just like we have here, the boy of Ifewara. Elijah the Tishbite. Now, but look at what happened. Bible says of the inhabitants of, and then said, Hey, up, and this is a deliberate. I said, As the Lord God of Israel lives before, you know, most of the time we are concerned about there shall not be dew nor rain these years. Except at my word. It's not even saying God's word. He said his own word. You know, if you talk like this, you are proud. You think the yesterday's message is for you, praise God. <laughs> at my word. Do you know most some of the things that Jesus Christ has supposed us to in the New Testament? He said, The work I do, if you believe in me, the work I do. You will do also. I wonder the Holy Spirit reminded me how many people die raised from the dead. See how many people did I heal? How many people, how many people gathered together? He said, look at the first time the Holy Spirit came in and then Peter preached a sermon he wasn't prepared for. 3,000 were saved. He said, if people can just believe. And you know, drinking is a demonstration of our faith. Drinking is a demonstration of our faith. You know, eating is a demonstration of our faith. That you are hungry alone shows that you have an expectation of God. Jesus speaking in John chapter 6, he said, you are going to eat me. You know they got hungry and left him? He said, I'm your food. He said, you will drink my blood. If you don't drink my blood, I eat my flesh. You have no life in you. No wonder Paul wrote, he said, he that is joined with the Lord has become one spirit with God. Somebody say, I'm one spirit with God. So it's at certain point, whatever God does, you do. Whatever you do, God does. That's what it means. In Acts chapter 4, they prayed when they were threatened. Bible says where they prayed, shook. And the spirit, they got filled again. Listen to me. And Bible says that they spoke the word of God with boldness. But if you check the content of the prayer, he said, Father, we pray that you will stretch your hands to do mighty miracles. Acts chapter 4. 
Do you know in Acts chapter 5, verse 12? Let's see verse, verse um, Acts chapter 5. Verse, um, verse, verse, give me one verse. Verse 12. Verse 12. Are you still here? Yes, sir. Glory, 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 glory. I want you to respond. Glory, 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 glory. Channels of my spirit open up. Just let me play it. Just let me play it. Can you see this scripture? Everybody can read it. If you can see it, one, two, three, go. And through the hands of who? When they pray, whose hand did they pray should move? The hand of God, right? Then whose hands were moving? You become an extension of God. That's what happened in the secret place. It forms you. It subtracts things from you. It takes you through. Bible says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. See, as I talked about mountain and hill, as a place of, of transformation, listen to me. Valley is a bad place. Check throughout the scripture. Is that they are fighting? There's war. There's calamity. All kinds of issues in the valley. That's why David said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you can't find death on the mountain. The scripture described church in the end of days shall be a church. The mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on the hill. Is that what the Bible says? And it says, all nations shall flow to it. The scripture describes us. It says that we are a city set on the hill which shall not be hidden. See, let me tell you something. There are efforts that we make. But you see, if angels announce you, if you get to a point, it will, it will look like it's a magic. It's so automatic that when they ask you what is going on, you can't explain it. But something has happened behind the scene. All the overwhelming never ending Chases me, fighting tonight. I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it. Still, you give me yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love. Elijah said, before whom I stand. Nobody knew him when he was standing. Hallelujah. It's a stand of righteousness. Righteousness is in different dimensions. I know there are two basic, but there are different dimensions. It works of righteousness, nature of righteousness. There's a standing of righteousness. That the only thing you are sold out for is the purposes of God. That's righteousness. Obedience is righteousness. Humility is righteousness. That command a level of works. He said, before whom I stand, there shall not be... So that means he has entered the realm behind the scene. So when God says, come unto me, he's telling us to go inside, inside. There's a dimension that is deeper and unique for you with God. There are certain things you will share with you. There are certain sounds you will hear. You know, since I came to this conference, um, I, I see people ministering and all that. Ah, somebody came and I was sharing with Pastor. I just did something. Ah, I said, This guy, this person, this person. You know, sometimes, let's say, for example, now, people playing the instrument, we don't really hear the sound of this instrument if you're a spiritual person. You hear the sound of the spirit or the person playing it. Praise God. No shadow you will lie there. You will climb up, coming after me. Can you sing it with expectation? No one you will keep down, 
lies you wouldn't cheat it down Coming up to me No shadow you would lie down No shadow you would lie down Mountain you wouldn't climb up Coming up to me So you know what God does? When he makes you, that's what he told Peter, I will make you. I will make you. He started working on Peter. You see, you can have results and you are not made. You can have some coins. That's not the real thing. Who could have believed that the person catching fish is supposed to be catching men? You can be very successful at what you do which is good and perfect is God's thought for our lives but when he wants to make us he takes us inside and the Bible says whoever, is, whoever turns to the Lord whoever turns to the Lord the veil is taken away so that means you see and he says the Lord is the spirit where the spirit of the Lord is there is what? Liberty. you know I was talking about valley the other time I mentioned let me give you one example, you remember the Ezekiel chapter 37, you know, he said, you know, I was in the spirit in the day of the Lord. That is how it is always. I was in the spirit. It's those kind of people that are sent to valley. Now, if you have been made on the mountain, you will be sent to the valley. And that is where you unleash that rivers of living water. I want you to listen because there is problem in the nation. There is so much problem in the lives of the people. You can walk into your office. Your boss is in the valley and you're on the mountain. The difference is the peace and the rest that dwells in your heart and in your life. Not the money. It hangs better, but you live better. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can perceive the direction in which a company is going. Let me tell you, this is a life that we live. There is nothing like spiritual and sacred. Uh, there's no secret. There's no secular. Everything about us is sacred. Your business, secret. Your career, secret. Are you getting what I'm saying? Your neighbors, to you, the relationship you have with people is secret. It's secret. It's secret. And that is why God can open your eyes to see. See, I, I don't have time to share testimonies with me. My father encountered God. He also encountered me. I know what I'm talking about. There was a year I was to go to school. We're watching, and you see, you can be in casual conversations, and the Holy Spirit just open your eyes, just quicken your heart. And then, you know, the way our house was, if you are going to come in, I am like the gatekeeper, praise God, my room, everything. So, the angel of my house was just open, I never planned for it. And I saw the angel of God, and I said, What? Guess what? My dad and myself were watching comedy. I can't, I can't forget the comedy. I can't tell you. There's no time, but it has even it has expired. The comedy has expired. So I, I was we're laughing, and God just opened my eyes. And God told me, He said, Your house is going to be left open as you go to school because the angel guides you, guides your room, guides the house. You are going to school, the angel is following you. Tell your father to get his own angel. And I said, Sir get your at another time the Holy Spirit told me he said six of your relations will be dead before April at the beginning of the year everybody wants good news at the beginning of the year he said six will be dead by April guess what the Holy Spirit attached a clause and there is nothing you can do about it ah guess I didn't bother to pray father we thank you and I spoke to my dad The Holy Spirit told me. All this why? I was in part one or so telling him all this. He dealt so well with me because he was a disciplined and a serious man. Dealt. I was his, I mean, I'm the only son. Dealt with me. Beat the hell out of me. And unknown to him, beat heaven into it. Because one must, are you getting what I'm saying? You can't stay in the middle. Glory to God. But I'm telling you there is a place you or pray in where God can lift you to father somebody who biologically father you lay hands on him pray for the family 
But I'm just telling you, the same way you can relate with your boss, the same way God wants that rivers to flow to nations through us, from our spirit. Somebody say, out of my belly. Say, out of my belly. You know it's not one rivers. Say, out of my belly. Rivers are flowing to the nations of the world. I am solving problems locally, internationally, in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, can you say amen? amen? But the requirement is that you drink. It's that you drink. He said, I was in the spirit and he took me. He said, these bones were dried. And God told him, he said, the son of man professor probably will have the opportunity to explore that. Because words from your mouth are direct words from God's mouth. Because you are an extension of God. Sometimes you don't need to seek certain help on the outside. You are supposed to be, you are supposed to be sharing body with your man of God. Not being a body into your man of God. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. You know there's a difference between the two. Let me give you one, one or two scriptures. Or so, let me see, let me see the ones that is very necessary now. Matthew 5 verse 6 says, it said, those who are thirsty and hungry shall be filled. That's what the scripture says. Just help me pull it. It said, for they shall be filled. Another word for being filled is that they shall be satisfied. Nothing on earth can satisfy you. You see, there is a text in your, except if you are not really looking inward. There are, there's a way materials cannot satisfy you. After you have the billions, you still ask what next. Until you find yourself in alignment at the center of God's purpose, you are not satisfied. You have to be doing what God tells you to do to be satisfied. You see that? How many houses do you want to live in? How many cars do you want to drive? How many? But there are people that have been positioned to receive help from you. And from this conference, you shall start ministering to them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Samity 1 verse 10. Quickly, Samity 1 verse 10. Hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide. Look at what it says. And I will what? Period. But you see, if you are not hungry, you won't open your mouth. Have you ever been very hungry before? I'm talking naturally now. Very hungry. Very hungry. That's, you know, there's a way, especially during the fast. You know, you know, when you're not fasting, you're not hungry. Sometimes you're not hungry. You're just, you know, 2 p.m., you're not even eating. You know, you're just busy. Probably you're just drinking something and all that. But the day fasting is announced you have not even started and sometimes i see some brothers i see some associates their eyes are red at 2 p.m when people are ready if you see somebody that is hungry is a serious person if you see somebody that is thirsty that person must be a very serious person you know what the psalmist says in Psalm 63 verse 1? You know Psalm 63 verse 1? We'll come back to this. Psalm 63 verse 1. Let me, let me show you something. You know, because you must, the spiritual food is the word. The spiritual drink is the spirit. Look at it. He said, Psalm of David, all this introduction. He said, oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul texts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and texty land where there is no water. Next verse. If you read on, you get more. He says, so I have looked for you in the sanctuary. So when you text and you are hungry for God, this is what you see. Power and glory. Look at the next verse. He said, because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Next verse. And the Bible says, thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. One more verse, verse 5. Look at it. My soul shall be satisfied. Can you see that? When the Bible says that, learn of me, 
and you shall find rest for your soul what satisfies the soul is doing the biddings of the lord are you getting what i'm saying when the soul has access to god's revelation you do the biddings of the spirit it's in that secret place god will rebook you it will subtract pride from your life it will deal with you god is not ready to open the next chapter when it's not true with you ah most times we are far ahead of god we so desire things to start happening back 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 we don't even know we are not ready for the things that we are believing for we don't even know that the gifts can destroy the gifts can kill the blessing if you check your prayer point right now and see the things you are requesting of the lord you will find out that it is better to become than to receive you know there are certain things that you have not become it you can't receive it if you see a small boy now everything that that guy needs to to be married everything that that guy needs to be you know um, reproductive everything is there but within a space of time you have to grow into it you will not need to do a prayer point to be reproductive but as a child you will struggle the same way you will not find a tree that is struggling to bring out fruits because at a certain point the concentration is to take the resources from the earth and to receive photosynthesis and it continues to grow until it gets to a point of maturity and the fruit starts coming out by itself the fruit is what we relate with We don't really face challenges like that when we're in the privacy or the secret place where God is making us. Start bearing fruit. You will see challenge. Men will carry stick because they want to pluck your fruit. Some of us have carried stick before. <laughs> Do you know that men goes for ripe fruit when the ripened fruit are finished? Do you know men are so thirsty and hungry? They want a better life that they can't wait for you to mature. They can't wait. That's why the Bible says the world or the, the, the nations eagerly wait for the manifestations of the Son of God. There are so many people we are depriving of the blessings and the grace that we are supposed to deploy to them. But I see God deploying us from this conference in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your right hand and say, I receive. Say, the grace to drink continually and to eat. I have one or two, I have some scriptures that are so crazy. Let me give you um, Luke chapter 1, verse 53. Look at Luke chapter 1, verse 53. You hunger for his word. You are born of incorruptible seeds of God's word. He says, this word lives and abides forever. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 22. He said, the word lives and abides forever. If you feast on temporary and ephemeral things, he is not going to last longer. And he says, as newborn baby desires and say, make of God's word, that it may grow thereby. Your concentration should be growth. Just grow. Hallelujah. <laughs> Look chapter 1 verse 53. Luke chapter 1 verse 53. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Nothing in this world can satisfy your soul. Only the bread of heaven. That won't run dry. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Much less more beauty and less more. Nothing in this world, nothing in this world will satisfy.
you know, some of the experiences of David, you could trace it to a New Testament experience. Said, I will look up to the hill where my help come from. We don't look up to the hill. We live on the hill. Look at your neighbor and say, I live on the hill. Do you know the same David said, the Lord is my refuge, my fortress, a present help. A present help. Someone say a present help. In times of need. Luke chapter 1 verse 53. Look at what it says. Can we read it together? One, two, three, go. He has filled the hungry with Yes? If you came rich, Bible says that rich is safe. It will be emptied by the time you are going back. Go to the next verse. I want you to know what it means to come hungry. Look at it. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his... Go to verse 50. Go to verse 50. Part of the things that he's talking about is that if you are full of yourself, look at it, and his message is on those who fear him, generation to generation, verse 51, time is gone, and he says, he has shown strength with his hand, he has scattered the proud. That's what we heard yesterday. Can you see that? In the imagination of his heart, their half. How you see yourself. Next verse. And he says, the, look at the next verse. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. Look at the next verse. Look at the next verse that we read just now. He said, he has filled the hungry with good stuff. Someone say good stuff. Yes. He has filled the hungry with good things. I just want us to drink. I just desire that we prioritize his secret place. Are you getting what I'm saying? I just desire that our heart always pant for him. Some of us on Sunday, we are so on fire because of the corporate grace. By Monday, we are down. You can't wait to get into church on Sunday because you are in a bad place. And the enemies must not caught up with you. See, one of the things that you see as a strength that people have developed or that God has given to people is in the special secret. Daniel said, those who do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. There is no way God himself will not release you when he knows that you have stuff to carry out. He will carry you in the spirit into the valley of the dry bones. There are so many lives around us that are dried. And if you came here dried, God is raising you as a soldier. Amen. I see an army of already people who are dead, being raised and deployed to the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe that, can you say amen? amen? Your presence. Can we lift up our hands and pray in the Holy Spirit? I will continue from here tomorrow, but I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Just pray in the Holy Spirit if you can, wherever you are seated. Let God, let your heart pant for Him. The restoration of gifts, activation of gifts, God opening your eyes, putting his desire in your hearts. Bible says men shall faint, they shall fall, but those who wait on the Lord, he shall renew their strengths. They will mount up with wings as eagles. They will run and not weary. They will walk and not faint. Because we are a city set on the hill. We are a city set on the hill. We are the light of the world. Our good works is rivers of living water. Can you pray in the Holy Spirit? Just two, three. Minutes as I close, the time is already gone. 
Kerabada ka shofra de kelia takata barada ko shatele baba kata barada ko shia lagata. Kebre de ko shaka brada ko shitelia takata barada kata. As you are praying in the spirit, can you tell him, Lord, I desire you more. I submit myself to you. I present myself as a living sacrifice. Abraham presented himself in his son. Can you pray? Can you pray some more? Can you pray some more? I want your expectation to be high tonight. I want your expectation to be high tonight. Kalabade ko shata barade ko shiteliata. Choir, can you lead us in that song? God bless you. Oh, treasure of my heart and of my soul.